Let's take a look at how to create artboard projects here in Adobe Photoshop. Now when you have the new document window open, you can choose a width and a height of your canvas. But this canvas can actually be an artboard. Now you can have multiple artboards and we'll get into that. But to create an artboard project, check mark this little artboard section. And then what I would do is look at the background contents and either select transparent or Leave it on white if you want the artboard to have a white background. But there's a little technicality here that we're gonna look at if you do have this selected as white. Now I'm gonna create this project and you'll notice just outside my canvas it says artboard one. In my layers panel, it has artboard one down here too. I can show or hide all the contents of that artboard. So every object, text element, shape, image that's on that artboard and affecting only that artboard would be hidden or shown with this little toggle menu. Now before we go any further, you might notice that this layer has no contents in it, but the artboard looks white. That's because right now, if we click on this artboard and look in our properties panel, we can see the artboard background color is set to white. That's because in our project, we left it on white instead of transparent. I would recommend changing this to transparent. It's gonna cause several different issues if you leave that on white, especially when you export items you might be wondering why it has a white background or just looking at your project why it has a white background. If you want your artboard to have a colored background, what I would do is either fill in this layer or create something like a shape with a fill of white or any other color and just create that shape to cover your artboard. Now that I created that rectangle, you'll notice that the artboard clips it just like any canvas would. I can move it around with the move tool and position it here on my artboard I can use Command or Control T to transform that and kind of cover my entire artboard, which acts like a canvas here in Photoshop. The one difference in artboard projects is elements can exist outside of your artboard. So if I were to take this rectangle using the Move tool and drag it all the way outside of the artboard, you'll notice how it pops out here outside the edge of our artboard canvas. That's different here in Photoshop. You don't see that when you just have a regular project, but when you have artboard projects, you can actually have elements hanging out outside of the canvases of your different artboards. This is also represented in the layers panel. No longer is this item inside of my artboard, it's actually outside of my artboard. So let's take a look at an artboard project that I have created and how you can really work with these different artboards. You can have multiple artboards even in your project. So I set this guy up, single artboard, just kind of tall vertical element here. If we drop this down, it's got a few text options, an ellipse here, and then the background image. So like if I hide that, you'll notice it's transparent, uh, but I want that white background. So I created a background layer or filled it in with white. Now what can I do here with this project? Well, the cool thing about having artboard projects is that you can have different sized artboards. If you're familiar with Illustrator, it's similar to artboards in Illustrator. If you look at the move tool, click and hold, there's actually an artboard tool. When you select that, you'll see plus icons show up. So I could duplicate or create new artboards based on these dimensions just by hitting one of these plus icons. So if you wanted to have multiple versions of similar height artboards, similar width and height, and it's kind of like groups over here in your layers panel, each of these artboards has their own little dropdown for all the elements included in them. I'm gonna back that up though, because another thing that we can do is with this artboard selected, we can actually hold Option or Alt on Windows and click and drag to duplicate that artboard. So all of the elements come with the artboard over here. Now with the artboard tool selected, we can actually find the edges of our artboard and maybe scale this down. So if we wanted this to be more of a square uh, form, then we can do that. What happens here? Any element that was outside of the scaling down of this artboard actually now is literally outside of that canvas. So you'll notice that the this is an Adobe Photoshop text layer actually popped out here. We could just drag that into our new artboard and it will place it centered into the artboard. Now we can work with all of these elements easily. So I could take that text layer, move it down, Command or Control T and just kind of resize it a little bit. And so as you work with all these different elements, you can get them to fit. And that's what I like about artboard projects is that they're really easy to create different sizes and examples of your designs. You might notice that I hid this rectangle just because I didn't really have room for it. I could also drag it outside of this document. 
so I could keep it out here visible, but work with all my other elements while maybe keeping this to bring in later. Now another thing you can do with that artboard tool is actually draw new artboards. So I could click and drag to draw another artboard. And this is artboard two, it's really three, but because we copied this one and never renamed it, it's actually artboard one copy. So Photoshop just decided this is artboard two. Then what we can do is if you wanted to select different elements, like if I start with this little background ellipse, the tan colored one, and maybe I'm gonna pull my layers panel up here and dock it next to all these items so we can really see the layers panel and work with it a little bit easier. If I were to drag this ellipse up to artboard two, while also holding option or alt, I can duplicate it to this artboard and it's gonna put it in there in the same approximate location. But then I could just move this ellipse around if I wanted to and resize it and do different things with it. So if you wanna bring elements from one artboard to the other, you can do that really easily. You can also copy paste elements. So for instance, I have this artboard project example that I have selected right here. I can hit Command or Control C and then click on artboard two and press Command or Control V to paste that in. I can also press Shift Command or Control V to paste it in the same location, but it might be a little bit different since this artboard is not the same as this other guy. If you did have multiple artboards of the same exact height and width, then it would paste it in the exact same location. I wanted to show you those two options, and of course those are available up in Edit. Here's all your copy and paste options. I think one of the most beneficial aspects to having an artboard project are being able to have multiple projects within one and to be able to work across them really quickly and easily and share all your elements and assets all within one Photoshop file. Whether or not those artboards are the exact same size or like in this case, they're different sizes, I think that it's just really flexible in your design workflow. Now, the other really great thing and the reason that I would have these all-in-one project is because it's so easy to then export all of those. You can just click, hold command or control to select the different artboards you want. And really quickly, you can right click all of those and go to quick export or even export as. And you can export all of those artboards at the exact same time. Now you can also do this with groups and Photoshop or any layers, but with these artboards, we have different sized projects all within one that we can all export at the same time and select all of our options over here on the right, even change the sizing and the suffix, and then we can just export all of those and select a place to save them all. So that's one of the really cool workflows of artboard projects. If you're looking to use artboards here in Photoshop, one other item I wanna cover is you wanna turn an existing regular project into an artboard project. You can do that. So I've got this project here. It's just got a background of a design I created and I'm going to turn this into an artboard project. You'll notice in my layers panel, there's no artboards yet. One thing I can do, I of course have to unlock that layer, but with any layer selected, you can actually right click and create an artboard from that layer or group of layers. So if I create an artboard from that layer, I can name it. It's gonna give me the width and the height, which I can adjust and I'll hit okay. Now I have an artboard that's set to the size of whatever that layer was. So I can do that and then of course, just like everything else in this tutorial, you can work with artboards in the same way. Now the other thing you can do is actually just create your artboards. So go to that artboard tool and start to draw artboards. It's not gonna put those layers automatically on that artboard unless you drew the artboard on top of that layer but then you can choose what layers, what elements you want to go into that artboard. You can grab them and then resize and move them around and figure out whatever you need to do within your artboard document and with all of the layers. In some ways, it might be easier to go ahead and draw your artboard. If you had, for instance, an element that you're trying to create an artboard from that is larger than the canvas size, so for instance, you can tell that this extends beyond the canvas, right? If I were to create an artboard from that particular layer, it's not gonna create an artboard that's the canvas size. It's gonna create an artboard from the layer, which means it's gonna be the size of that layer. So if you wanted it to be specifically the canvas size, you might not wanna create it from a layer. You might wanna just go ahead and use that artboard tool and create an artboard out here the size that you want and then put those layers in it or kind of click and drag on that canvas to create the artboard the size of the canvas instead of creating it from the layers. 
So you can create it from the existing layers in your document, existing background layers, whatever you wanna use, or you can go ahead and draw different artboards out here. And then you can always, in the properties panel of that artboard, adjust the sizing, and also don't forget that background color if you need to change that too. But that is the many ways to work with artboard projects here in Photoshop.